the Herm Edwards era is over in Tempe, Arizona, and now the Sun Devils have to deal with arguably the best team in the conference in their Pac-12 opener with an interim head coach. Arizona State starts conference play at home against Utah, with Sean Aguano stepping in in the interim head coach after Edwards was fired following the team's shocking loss to Eastern Michigan last weekend. How will the Sun Devils bounce back, or is this going to be one-way traffic as the defending Pac-12 champs come to town? While many looked at Nebraska as a team that would outperform expectations and cover after firing their head coach last week, they were wrong as the Cornhuskers lost 49-14 to Oklahoma. I believe those using that rationale to back the Sun Devils are in for a similar fate. Arizona State has sputtered on offense this season with Florida transfer quarterback Emory Jones at QB. The offensive line is the root of the issue, posting the second worst offensive line yard and havoc allowed rate. Jones hasn't had time to operate and will have even less time against a budding Utah pass rush. It's a young unit, but the Utes have talent in the trenches, allowing a top 20 yards per play mark and the secondary is holding opponents to a 51.5% completion percentage. Cam Rising and the Utes' offense is firing on all cylinders, despite the early setback to Florida on the road. The O is averaging 6.87 yards per play, 24th best mark in the country, and averaging nearly 5.5 yards per carry. I like the Utes to win convincingly, despite many circling this as a great spot to back Arizona State after firing Edwards. Give me Utah at minus 15.5 to cover against Arizona State. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, positive vibes always here. May the winner be yours, gang. Go get them. Get that cash. See you in the next one. This is Trending Rabbit.